Good evening, Floyd County, Mud Creek, Hazard, Florida, many places that I, they tell me that they see me on WLJC. WLJC has been a lot to me. It's been my life. It's been my comfort. It's been my enjoyment. I love WLJC. This is good news to be able to come and be able to worship, be able to lift up the name of Jesus. And this is where it's all at. Come on down. If you need prayer, come on down. I don't care what time you walk in. Come, if you want love, come on down to WLJC. You'll get love. You'll get mercy. You'll get compassion. And that's what it's all about. I love WLJC. Good evening and welcome to our, our service from the WLJC studios in Betaville, Kentucky. We have a whole house full of singers here tonight. Dottie has phone operators. Uh, uh, and so we're all going to do our best to uh, remind you of how special you are and how much the Lord loves you. And we're so uh, appreciative of the different uh, people that comes to help Dottie answer phones each night. And tonight we have Brother Wayne House and some of his folk uh, that are up there to do that. And they do an excellent job of leading people to the Lord and bringing comfort. I, I received a really nice letter from this lady and she was talking about how troubled and distressed she was and said, Brother Wayne was here the night she called and said he talked to her and prayed with her and all of the trouble that she had uh, left and she was just thanking the Lord for the kindness that was shown to her when he answered the phone. So he's going to be helping answer phones, but right now we have him up here and he's going to bring a greeting to all of you. Brother Wayne House. Well, it's always better. It's always better for people to say you've helped them than been a hindrance to them, Sister Margaret. And uh, I sure wouldn't want to ever, you know, uh, harm anybody or be a hindrance to them. I, I found out a long time ago, you know, when you keep things simple and you realize who you are. And uh, I, I tell people, I don't know if a lot of people understand it when I say this preaching or not, but I tell them I'm just a sinner saved by the grace of God. And don't mean I still live the same lifestyle I did when I was lost, but. If you took Christ away from me, my, out of my life, uh, I'd, I'd still just be an old sinner. And, but I'm glad for the saving grace of God, and I'm glad that today if I recommend somebody to, uh, uh, or recommend something, it'll be about the Lord. There's a song, we hear it on the radio uh, sometimes, says, I recommend my Lord to you. And uh, to me, that's what this station is about. And being over here at Beattyville tonight, it's about we recommend Jesus to uh, lost and dying world and uh, if I, I if I said well I'll recommend uh, Brother Wayne or Sister Margaret or somebody uh, and, well, we couldn't do, do for you what the Lord can do and I'm very limited in what I'm able to do and as I get older I feel like I know less and um, uh, able to do less but but I, I look back I've been saved 31 years uh, Margaret and um, been preaching be 19 here a little bit pastor and same church, be 17 years this month, so I've, I've kind of just stayed in the same little place, but I've, I've met a lot of people in my life and been able to talk to a lot of people about the Lord, and, and uh, I recommend Jesus. If you're out there tonight not saved, um, and we, we're not here to condemn you. The Lord said, I didn't come to condemn you, but I came that through me you might be saved, so we recommend Jesus. If you're sick, I know doctors are wonderful, and Medicine is good, but we recommend the Lord to you for healing. And uh, no matter what you face, God said, you know, if you trust in Him, if you're a child of God, He said, I'll be with you all the way to the end. I'll never leave you, never forsake you. And I'm thankful for that. So 
we're just glad to be here. We don't have a big long uh, spiel, but um, uh, we just want to tell you that uh, we love you. God loves you, and we'll, we'll be upstairs answering phones, and we'd be tickled to have to pray with you and pray for you. And we can't save you, but we'll pray with you. And uh, the night I got saved, my mom was there, my dad was there in an old country church, and neither one of them could save me, but uh, uh, the only person that could save me was one I had to trust in, and that was uh, the Lord. But as soon as I was willing, I've often thought of this and I'll hush, but as soon as I became willing to give my whole heart, my whole life to the Lord, He saved me. Now, He'll not take 99% of you and leave 1% for you to do something else with. You've got to come with your whole heart. And the Bible teaches us when you come with your whole heart, he said, Behold, I'll be found with you, and I'll never leave you. I mean, 31 years later, I've still, I'm still saved, still got the Lord, and I'm still able to witness somebody else about the loving, saving grace of, of Jesus. So tonight you call in, we'll pray with you, pray for you, and just um, just good to be at, I'm back over at Beattyville tonight, not being here in a while, and seem like anyhow, and uh, just good to be here and with um, God's people, and uh, I'm proud of this station. I tell you, I'm, I'm proud of it. I say that. If I didn't believe in it and what it was doing, I, I wouldn't come over here and spend my time. But I'm proud of what it stands for and what God has built. It's not been Margaret that's done this. It's been the Lord. So I'm proud to be a part of it. I, and I'm honored to just be um, part of the, the family, you know, WOJC. So may God bless you tonight is, is our prayer. Well, uh, Brother Wayne and... His wife and church, they have proven they are real friends, and uh, we, uh, we uh, really appreciate them. And a lot of times you, you, when, uh, when I'm gone, have to be gone, well, then I always check and see if Wayne is busy or in revival, and uh, he stays really busy. He, he works every day. He's a mailman. And then he's, a lot of people says that's not work, oh. but it is. <laughs> well, you have to read all day, yeah, don't you? You I have do. to read people. Have to be there. <laughs> yeah. Rain or uh, what is the commercial? Rain, sleet, ice or snow, the U.S. mail has to go. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> when I see, <laughs> he's remembered. And um, but you know it, it. You know what? When you have real friends, it is something you just thank the Lord for. And. Um, and you know, when you've been a friend to Jesus, like he's been our best friend, we read in Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, it says, uh, talking about what this uh, station stands for, it, you know, we try to get the gospel out every day and night. Uh, it, in the third verse, it says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to those that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. And, and then it uh, goes ahead talking about how that uh, when, we, when we have the Lord in our heart, that we have this treasure in earthen vessels uh, that, uh, uh, that the power of God may, uh, uh, may uh, that the Lord will be seen, not us. And... Uh, uh, and it tells, it promises us, if we're troubled on every side, yet we're not distressed, we're perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed, always uh, hearing about, uh, uh, bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our bodies. And on and on this, uh, the scripture goes it's really good and then the 17th verse it says but our light afflictions which is but for a moment worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory uh, so you know we we want you to we want to share what we know about the Lord which like Brother Wayne said the longer we live and the more we learn about the Lord, the more we realize how little we know because He is so much greater than what we've ever right. been able to grasp. And so we want wow. you to know Him on a personal basis too. And you know, when uh, talking about having good friends and, and family members, 
well, the Lord can be so much more than, than all of that put together to you. Now, you don't believe that until you really start experiencing it because it really sounds too good, but it's true. He will be there. He can help you. He can lead you. He can help you to make the right choices, and He can uh, encourage you. He can speak to you if you're about to go in the wrong direction. He can, he can drop a word into your heart. He don't, you don't hear a big sounding voice, but you know in your heart that the Lord is saying, no, that's, that's right. not right. And it's his way of keeping us on the right path. And, you know, if you're grieving, uh, then he, uh, he knows how to, uh, to minister to us. And so he is so much more than what we can even tell you. It's like heaven. You know, heaven's going to be so much more. It says that, you know, we, we haven't even thought of how wonderful heaven's going to be. But living for God is the most wonderful thing yes, that I have found yes, because he can be there right. and is there for you regardless of what has happened. When everything has fallen around you and you think you are the only one left, then that's when he shows up to let you know you are, you are his child and he's going to take care of you. All right, well, we just, our, our prayer is that tonight if you have any unfinished business with the Lord that you, that you take care of it tonight while you're in your right mind. We hear about all these young people dying and all the older people, and if they're not ready, it's so sad. We have a prayer request here for a little one-year-old one baby, Matthew, from Somerset that has been bitten by a spider and is in the hospital. And so Brother Wayne's going to lead us in prayer for the service and for you. And uh, then at the close of the service, of course, we always, we always pray. Let's pray tonight. And you pray with us out there. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this opportunity that you've given us. And just to be able to gather with your people tonight in your presence. And Lord, we know that you hear us when we pray. And well, we, because we, we belong to you, not because we're anything great, but because you made us uh, a child of God when you saved us. And I just wish tonight, my prayer would be that every soul out there that's listening, Lord, that they, they would have a desire in their heart to know you. And I know if they would only have that desire, Lord, you would help them to, to take care of, 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 of ever, everything needs to be done. You'll give them the faith that it takes, the courage, the the know so the know how God to be saved. I know that you said you gave unto every man the measure of faith, and I believe that tonight. And we leave them in your hands, Lord. You know best. You know how to touch hearts, and you know how to save souls. And we just we know you'll do that if they'll ask you. Bless the the groups tonight, and bless the operators upstairs, and uh, ever everything said and done. Let it be done for your glory. Again, we bow our head and we give you the praise for it all. For in the sweet, blessed name of Jesus, we do pray. And amen. 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 All right. Thank you, the Wayne House. All right. We have a, a good uh, sized group over here. And uh, it's Highway 78 Full Gospel Deliverance Singers from Houstonville. And their phone number is 606-346-2542. And that's the title of their church and the title of their singing group. So let's just go over right now and welcome all of them.
Oh, the electric guitar, I get it right in the minute, I got a microphone that works. Oh, the electric guitar is uh, Brother Bobby Johnson and then the Brother Tommy Pittman is back here, praise the Lord, we appreciate him. And I tell you what, the devil, how many knows tonight when the devil starts fighting, that's when you know God's getting ready to do something. Because Paul said, when I try to do good, he was always present. And I tell you what, amen, I know God's getting ready to touch some souls tonight, amen, it's not me. It's not you, but it's God that lives inside of us tonight. Amen. So I'm glad to be here. Well, just hope you enjoy the music and you praise along with us. If you're at home, wherever you're at, just praise the Lord with us. I want to sing this song to my family and my kids and my grandkids and all my friends. When I'm tossed on life's sea And the waves covers me And the dark clouds won't let the sun shine through Then a voice seems to say Child, there'll be a brighter day Don't allow the storms to 
send this uh, song out to all of our children out there that's listening. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Well, on Monday I'm happy, Tuesday full of joy. Wednesday got the thing that the devil can't destroy. Thursday and Friday I'm walking in the light. Saturday got the thing tell you one thing for sure tonight. We know if our name is written in that land's book of life, the devil can do whatever he wants to us. He can say what he wants to about us. The Bible said he persecuted Jesus. What makes us think we're any better than he is? Amen. But tonight the Lord wants to save 
your soul tonight. If you don't have the Lord in your life, the Lord wants to save you. It's a simple thing as getting on your knees and saying, God, I'm sorry. You know, all he expects from us is our best. And if we'll give him our best, praise the Lord, he'll take you from there. And I guarantee you, God will bless you tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus, please come fast. Lazarus is sick, and without your help, he will not last. Thank you, Lord. Mary and Martha watch their brother die. They wait.
taking care of me all these 72 years. I thank him for teaching me to play music. I teach him for teaching me the word. You know, when I had a stroke here a while back, I said, Lord, whatever you do, please don't take the word out of my heart. Please don't take the word from me. I want to always have the word with me. And he didn't. He didn't take the word from me. And I thank him for that. I thank him because I still got that word in my heart. And I thank him because he didn't take the music away from me. I kept that music with me. Y'all just pray for me. Thank you, Lord. I'd like to say I thank the Lord for being here tonight. And I'd like to sing this song out to uh, my children, my grandchildren, and uh, my sisters and brothers. They all love this song. The ones that are listening tonight, I'd like to send it out to you. And I'd like to praise the Lord, too, because uh, my son's been in the hospital all week. And Lord saw fit to let him come home today, and I praise him for that. You know, we can never praise God enough for what he does for us. 
This life is like a flower Soon it's beauty fades away And like a tiny vapor I'm here for just a day I'll be playing in some graveyard But praise God, that's not the I just want to say tonight I'm thankful for what the Lord has done for me. He's brought me through so much, and even though I went through so much this year, you know, I've lost my dad, and it's very hard, but uh, I know one day I'm going to see him, but Brother Bobby's coming to sing while I'm saying this, but I just want to thank the Lord for what he's done for me and my family, and uh, I just want to say hello to all of our church family and all of our friends at work and everything, and God is so good, and we don't never give him enough praise. I was on the elevator with a guy today, and I, he's like, how are you? But you know, any time he said that toot toot can happen, and we're out of here. And I said, yes, we are. And you know, I'm ready to go when the Lord calls me. If it's by the way of the grave or it's by the way of the rapture, either way, I'm ready. And uh, our heart's got to be fixed, and our mind's got to be made up. And without our heart fixed, we're not going anywhere. If the Lord is not in here, we're not going nowhere. You know, a lot of people look the part, fit the part. They go to church, sit on a pew. They look like a Christian. Some of them do. But you know, if, if your heart's not in it, then you're going to be perishing at the end. And I just love the Lord. And Go ahead, Bobby. Thank the Lord for being here. I just want to say hello to my family and friends out there. And thank the Lord for a safe trip and pray for us on the way back. Amen. <laughs> I want a soulless life filled with sin. I wouldn't live life in
Praise the Lord. All right. Thank you for all those songs. We'll give them just a few minutes break, and they'll uh, get a drink of water if they need to. You've been listening to Highway 78 Full Gospel Deliverance Singers from Houstonville, Kentucky, and they have a phone number, 606-346-2542. And you may uh, call that number and, uh, and find out more about them. Well, I'll share some of these uh, requests while they're, take, uh, while they're getting a drink, and they'll be right back. We have Matthew from Floyd County says he has just rededicated his life to the Lord. So there's a salvation report. We like that. Salvation reports. All right, here's a, a, a lady has called for her nephew, James, that's had a heart attack and is in UK hospital. Flossie has called for Wanda that is really sick. She has COPD and has broken both hips. Peggy, she's going to have uh, outpatient surgery and needs prayer. Geraldine from Knott County for herself, she has uh, blood pressure problems and sugar. Uh, from um, uh, This is for Garnetta Winters. Um, uh, they just... Uh, her, uh, Garnetta and Alvy, husband, wife, they need a touch from the Lord. Mrs. Uh, uh, Loudon from Jasmine County, they need, she needs prayer for herself and her family. Now, um, the, so we have more coming in. Thank you. Um, we have uh, this one is from Corbin. Uh, mourning the loss of a loved one. There's, see, we talk about the needs that there is uh, from Richmond. Uh, uh, Bertha says needs prayer for her brothers and sisters and daughter has cancer, also for herself. Uh, McGoffin County for uh, Kermit uh, needs prayer and the whole family does. Mildred from Liberty is 85 years of age and needs prayer tonight. Well, I tell you what, we all need prayer on a daily basis. Here's a mother has called for a grandson that is making a trip to Alaska and she wants to pray for his safety. Well, that's a long way from, from here. I don't know where they're starting from there, but it could be, uh, you always, when you think of Alaska, you think about it being so cold and everything, but um, I'm sure that they've got it all planned out. She just wants safety for him. Uh, we always receive emails, a prayer request daily uh, from, uh, through by way of email. And here's uh, a lady wants prayer. She needs a job and she's dealing with her daughter Ed, that has some, uh, some children and the daughter is on drugs. And so she needs uh, for the daughter to be delivered and she needs a job and and just need some help. And this one said, uh, uh, another person has called and says that she, she has been informed that her job of uh, many years is no longer going to be and she's sick and needs the uh, insurance that she gets from her job and it will be gone shortly and she needs, uh, she needs to have a job. From Lebanon, Kentucky, a mother that cannot see well but uh, she wants to see well enough to read her Bible, and she watches WLJC every night. Here's one just says that she uh, would love for all of us to pray for her. Another, another mother talking about uh, her daughter that has uh, uh, some children, and, and the mother is, is on drugs and neglecting the children. And we see this happen so much. And here's another one that's someone that's in a lot of pain and uh, dealing with illness and just a lot of, a lot of situations there. Well, uh, if you have a prayer request or a praise report, you feel free to call it in. The group will all be back in just any, any time now, and I'm sure they got more songs. And, and the lady at the piano, she's probably uh, got uh, a lot more, and she was talking about how the Lord healed her and brought her through a stroke situation. And you know, uh, strokes can kill people. But the Lord was merciful to her and she's giving him praise. You know, in Psalms it says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. 
And so she is uh, letting it be known tonight that uh, who healed her and helped her and she's able to sing and uh, play for him tonight. All right, I believe though the group is uh, almost back in. Uh, Highway 78, full gospel delivering singers from Houstonville, uh, Kentucky. And uh, the phone number is 606-346-2542. And, and I'm sure they have a lot more songs. And uh, they'll probably, uh, uh, they can tell you where their church is located and so forth. If you'd like to talk about your church a minute. That'll be good. So, because when singers come, uh, we like for you to know where they're from and what church they attend, so that if you want to go fellowship with them, you're free to do that. And so, I believe the group's all here. So let's go right back over to them. Praise the Lord, Amen. I, like I said, it's good to be with y'all tonight. We thank the Lord for His blessings. Where our church is on Highway 78, about six miles out of Houstonville, in the edge of Casey County. Uh, we have church on Tuesday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. The Lord's really been blessing. I thank the Lord for all His blessings. I tell you, God's surely been good to us. And I'll tell you what, if we just can learn to have just as much faith as God said, which is that measure that every man has been given, which is a grain of mustard seed. He said we can move mountains. So whatever your mountain is in your life, if you can just believe enough to say, I know God's going to take care of it, God will move that trouble or that trial out of your life tonight. And I'm thankful, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I know that the same Spirit of God that lived in my grandparents lives inside of me tonight. The same Spirit of God that, that brought uh, the, the, everyone uh, the, all up in the old days, and, and the same Spirit lives today. He said, seek ye out the whole past. Why? Because in them is the key to eternal life, that a true, clean holiness. How many knows tonight that God said that uh, all knees shall bow and all tongues shall confess that the Lord is King of kings and Lord of lords, but only the pure in heart shall see God. And that's where I want to be. I want to see God as he is. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Brother Rick here wants to say hi to his friend Helen. I want to have a prayer for her tonight. We'll ask you to pray for her. She's having problems with her legs and hips, but we know God's able. Amen. God's able to move. Amen. Praise the Lord. I better hush and let them sing tonight. There is coming a day when no heartache shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more tears to dim the eye. Yes, 
thank the Lord for being here tonight. Thank you for saving my soul and setting me free of this world. And I want to thank him for my job. He gave me a good job. I was praying for a job, and God made a way. And I just thank him for it. And I want to send this song out to to uh, Jack Elliott and uh, my grandpa and grandma, and my mom and my kids. And I just thank the Lord for what he's doing for me. Amen. Glory, hallelujah, I shall not be moved. Anchored in Jehovah, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree. claim to be no singer and I'm not no singer but uh, as long as we're singing for the Lord that's all that matters and uh, my mom used to sing this song she's home and I want to say we miss her tonight and miss Amanda they usually come with us and uh, anyway let's just pray for them and just pray for me everybody help Thank you, Lord. look at my world when yeah, I'm gone my world
you're born again and you've got the Spirit of God living inside of you, the Bible said that when you uh, pray and you're baptized in the water and receive the Lord as your Savior baptized in the water and the Holy Ghost comes up on you, you're baptized with Holy Ghost. And not only Holy Ghost, but he said you've got the Holy Ghost and fire. And tonight I want to tell you tonight, praise the Lord, that if you're a child of God, if you have gifts, somebody out there, the devil's been giving you a hard way to go because so you, you've claimed your healing, you've claimed your salvation, you've claimed your deliverance, and the devil's been giving you a hard way to go. Well, I'm telling you tonight in the name of Jesus that God shall deliver you from that trouble that you're in, and you will see the power of God bring manifest right before your very eyes. And I'm telling you tonight, we have nothing to be ashamed of, but we have everything to praise the Lord for because in Him is the power and in His Word and in His might. We pray he rose on that third day from the grave to give us something. And I'm here to tell you tonight, praise the Lord, He did not die on that cross in vain. He did not shed His blood in vain. But when He shed His blood, that one drop of blood was for me and that one drop of blood was for you. And tonight I believe with all my heart that we're living in a time tonight where we're living in the last days and God is pouring out His Spirit upon all flesh tonight. Those that have a desire to serve God, God is pouring out the Spirit on them. But I'm going to tell you something tonight, praise the Lord. We've got to get deeper in the Word than we've ever been. And we've got to get closer than we've ever been. I better hush. But I feel somebody out there tonight. God is touching your mind. God is touching your body. God is touching that need. You know that God lives inside of you and the devil's been trying to tell you that there's no more need in praying. But God said tonight he will manifest your healing before your very eyes. He will manifest himself and you will know that there is joy in serving God tonight. The Bible said joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Life is like a mountain railroad with an engineer that's great. We must make the run successful from the cradle to the grave. Watch the curve.
glad to be here. Appreciate the Lord. Amen. Know that uh, He is a Savior. There's down one day to save me from 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 hell. Yeah. Put my hip on a solid rock. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm glad I know who He is tonight. Amen. 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 You sing a song. All right. I'd rather be in a dark grave. And I know that my poor soul was saved. And I lived in this world in a house of gold. And now my God had lose my soul. If your heart not good and true, sinner, hear me when I say, look on your knees and pray. thankful to be here hopefully somebody got a blessing out of whatever was sung or said but you know the main thing is is being ready to go if the Lord calls us home Amen. you know there's no promise that any of us are going to make it home tonight but I just want to thank the Lord for his travel and mercies and sister Amen. Brenda do you want to do that one or you want to do I'll fly away or which one yeah we'll go ahead and do this one I've had a lot of requests for All right, sister Becky so thank you, go ahead and do it Would you please send your best angel for my mama? I don't want her to make this journey all along. Would you send the same one you sent for daddy? It's time to call my mama. Would you please take special care with her? And dear Lord, will you please let 
Thank you. That was a song written by Amanda Sexton from over in Court of London, and uh, you get a lot of requests for it. Well, Amanda has written a lot of songs, and uh, she needs some healing. And uh, the last we heard, her husband was sick also, so we'll have to continue to pray for him. You've been listening to Highway 78 Full Gospel Deliverance Singers from Houstonville, Kentucky, and their phone number is 606. 606- 346-2542. We have uh, some prayer requests here we want to share. We've already shared a lot of them. Um, Lucille Phelps from Pulaski County has called for Ralph Phelps. He has blocked bowels. He's 89 years of age. Uh, Lucille and Ralph will be celebrating their 70th year of marriage on August the 9th. And also Lucille Phelps uh, has Parkinson's and, uh, and in September she will be turning 90 years of age. Bless their hearts. I appreciate them for watching and being interested in the things of the Lord. That, uh, that is great. I hope to keep my mind and able to be able to uh, uh, do uh, be this way, uh, think about the things of the Lord. And also from Monticello, someone in that church family has lost a loved one. So Brother Wayne is going to share with us, and uh, uh, he's going to uh, take care of the prayer requests. We're going to pray, right, right, you know, in a few minutes this morning. We, we was talking upstairs, a young man by the name of Matthew, and he had um, come back to the Lord and rededicated his life, you know. And, and he was telling me about uh, his mom. Uh, he said during a uh, telethon, I guess it was, he got, had sent in some money because he said, and he was still out of the will of the Lord, but he said his mom sat every night and watched this program. This was uh, her church, and he sent money in because of that. And I thought, how many people out there tonight, you know, maybe uh, not able to go to church or, or, or don't go just because they don't go, but yet they're able to still hear something good uh, I, I, listen, I, I, a lot of people may not believe this, but th- there's not a lot of good out there in the world. Uh, it's all about what they can attain and gain and what you're going to store up and leave for somebody to fight over. But I, I've, I've thought about what's really good is, is what God can give you. Uh, I never knowed what good was until I got saved. And 
my mom and dad always told me, you know, the Lord would, would be good to me and my life would be better if I was had the Lord and I just didn't think they, they know what they was talking about. But I got saved. I found out they really did know what they was talking about. Uh, I, I said this once and I never forgot it, but I said the worst day, Brother Bill, that I've had as a Christian is still better than the best day I had when I was lost and undone. And and it, it is. And a lot of people say, well, you're just saying that. No, I'm not. I, I'm not j- I didn't come all the way from Clay County over here just to say something, you know. Uh, I mean, it's the truth tonight. Jesus is real, and, and, and Jesus is worth living for, and He's worth dying for. I mean, uh, I, I'm going to die one of these days. And the Bible said, and the, the writer of Hebrew wrote and said, it's once to point it unto man to die, and after the death, the judgment, we're all going to die. And we're all going to answer before, you know, before God. But I'm glad that I made my call in an election sure. And, and I'm glad I'm saved. And I'm glad when I talk to people, I can tell them that what God done for me, He'll do for them. He, the Lord doesn't, he, he doesn't love me any more than He loves you. But the Bible said, For God so loves the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And I, I'll say this, and we'll pray. We, uh, we was called to preach years ago and pastor of her church was Brother Harden Owens, and he's gone on to be with the Lord now, but uh, me and another brother uh, went one night to hear him in revival. I hadn't been saved but a little while, and um, I, I thought, brother, we're going to go and we're going to hear some great message, you know, just something earth-shattering, something, because he'd been preaching so long and done such a good job preaching, and we got there to where he was preaching, and, and he read John three sixteen. For God so loved the world. And that's what he preached on. And I believe the Lord sent that for me just to know that no matter how long you're saved or how long you've been preaching, it still comes back to God so loves the world. So you pray with us tonight. We're going to pray. and You pray. and You may not have called in, but wherever you're at tonight, you pray. And if you'll pray from the bottom of your heart, God will hear you, I promise you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you one more time to be able to gather uh, here, for being able to gather here, and one more time to come before you on behalf uh, of these requests tonight. We know that we've prayed upstairs, and we, we know, Lord, that we, we've asked you to touch each one of them. We, again, we ask you, each need in each life tonight, you touch them all, and maybe those that's not even called in, but yet you know their hearts, and you know the needs they have in their lives. We, we leave it all in your mighty hands tonight. Thank you for the songs that's been sung and for the prayers that's been prayed, for everything that's been done tonight. Lord, we give you praise for that. Now you touch each one. You, you, you just bless each life and we'll bow our head. We'll give you that promise tonight, Lord, and we'll give you the praise, honor, glory for it all. For in the sweet, sweet, blessed name of Jesus we pray. And amen. And amen. amen. All right. Thank you so much. And. Uh, We do appreciate this group tonight for driving a long way to be with us. And that's on a lot of curvy roads from Houstonville. Highway 78 Full Gospel Deliverance um, uh, Singers, and that's the name of their church too. So be sure and call them if you'd like to get more better acquainted with them. We appreciate people that comes here with the uh, with the thought and the intent of serving God and lifting up His name. Amen. You know, uh, this is not really a place for people to just exhibit their talent. If that's all they're, if they're pushing themselves and wanting to uh, just make a big name, then they need to go someplace else because this station was established with uh, the burden of trying to win souls. And... You know, when you have that and people comes in, you can tell really quick when they have a burden for souls and when they, um, when it's not there. So right. it's it's sad. It's sad when people uh, are not trying to lift up the name of the Lord because He's made us a promise. He said, if we lift Him up, then He will draw people to Himself. And you know th- that's the important thing. We can depend on that. Well, I appreciate everyone that's been here and uh, Brother Wayne's Church for being on the phones tonight. They're always good. This is They're doing some home mission work and uh, it is home mission work, it is. isn't it? It is. 
and uh, so uh, you know if uh, if you uh, would like to know more about it why uh, call we'll talk to you all right looks like our time is coming and going for another night so from all of us here in the studio we want to say good night and god bless you <laughs>